Alrighty, hey guys, I am back for another Golf Clash tutorial video here. This, These tutorials are going to focus on Tour 11. And uh, one of the things that I just want to make a note of before we actually get to shootouts, is I'm going to cover the shootouts. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give a brief intro here and just talk about this. Um, you see I have Thor's hammer on right now. Now, one of the things that I want you to be aware of is that you're probably going to want to stick with katanas or kingmakers here in this tour exclusively. Now, what this is going to do, it's going to allow you to take uh, advantage of the vulnerability that you m may or may not get on the shootout holes um, of not having enough uh, side spin. So, you want to make your life a lot easier on this tour. And uh, that's the best way to uh, kind of make think, make your life a, a lot easier would be to uh, put the full side spin balls on, but just because you don't know what shootout hole you're actually going to get. And know that, you know, 90% of the holes that you get to, well, as long as you can tighten up and make sure that you keep the ball in the fairway, hit the ball on the green, uh, 90% of your matches in this tour are going to go to shootouts. So I am briefly going to just touch on this hole here, why, well, why I have you guys, because I think this is actually a good opportunity for you to, uh, you know, take advantage of a shootout uh, before you actually even get um, to the shootout. Being able to take advantage of this hole and maybe, you know, avoid shootout altogether. So... I touched on this a little bit last tournament, but the shot that I like to do is kind of a bump into the fringe, and then it just kind of releases slowly down towards the hole. So, the way that you're going to do this, first you always, 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 always size up and figure out in terms of, uh, you know, where you are in the club. I'm, I'm pretty close to max distance here. And you see how this wind's pointed left to right, so I'm going to set up intentionally a little bit left here. And then I'm just going to play my ring system. Now, I am very close to max club, so you're going to see me go pretty much max rings here. So it's going to be, you know, the 7-8 rings somewhere in there. And then aside from that, I'm, I'm thinking I'm not going to need to really curl this because... Uh, we got that nice left to right, and notice how I'm trying to bump it right into that fringe or right short of it. And you see it just comes up here real slow and gives you a nice chance to hold out there. So I just want you to be aware of that method. Uh, you know, that you're looking for that second hop right around uh, the fringe or just short of the fringe, just like you saw me do. Um, just make sure that it's not on the green and that your back spin is between two and three bars uh, for normal wind. Uh, if it's downwind, you'll um, add a little bit more backspin. If it's into the wind, you'll take off a little bit. So, just wanted to briefly go over that real quick. And now let's get into the shootout. Um, because uh, that's where, you know, the majority of your matches are going to go. But this is, you know, one of those holes that you can just take advantage of and try to win pre-shootout. Now, the way that I have my bag set up is Thor 5, um, Sniper, and, uh, well, I don't have Sniper, it's my Hammerhead, but it's the exact same club, uh, accuracy-wise, so it's going to play identical to Sniper. I just prefer my Hammerhead since it's uh, maxed, just like, uh, you know, taking advantage of that. Um... And aside from that, you see I have uh, the B-52. It's got a pretty good length. Uh, you don't need B-52 on this tour. You, you can use Backbone. And all honestly, you, ever since they took off that Santa Ventura uh, shootout hole, there's no long iron shootout. So um, Now, one of the things that I just want to mention here about this hole, and this is actually very nicely done, um, you can just tell the way that it's rolling in that it's going to you know, be about perfect weight. Um, and uh, you have like kind of a two yard range where you need to land it on the slope here. Now the way that I'm going to set up and play these holes for you guys is exactly how I maxed. So the shot that I used to do is two bars of backspin, which is same as a POC 4. So basically 
a POC 4 plus uh, just notice how I'm setting up just short of this neck here and that's kind of perfect where uh, you know two uh, where two backspin goes and then aside from that I'm going to go I'm gonna play this close to two per ring on this um, you know just a little bit short of two per ring and as you see I'm really restricted on how much I can uh, side spin this and you see how I'm taking a more of an aggressive line here what this allows you to do is it it gives you the chance to get it more online to actually make it one and and two if you can use just a little bit less of that slope you'll be able to uh, you know get in there pretty tight um, I, I, I just had just a little bit too much it, it needed to land on that uh, fringe as opposed to uh, landing into the mid green there but when you give it all that side spin and come in at the angle that I did if I can just get the ball to stop on that hill it'll it'll come in closer than that 1.78 or, or whatever that other guy was so like I mentioned um, you saw his shot essentially come in perfect you know if mine came in about you know two yards shorter I would have won that shootout because I wouldn't have took so much slope it, it, it basically comes down to hitting like a two yard window whether or not you're going to win or lose so keep that in mind when you're setting up for your adjustments and uh, like I mentioned, I like to play that uh, Thor's hammer. Um, so first off, min distance is going to be uh, like 2.2 on that club, 2.25. Uh, mid club is going to be about 2. And max club is going to be about 1.75-ish. Uh, uh, um, it does play a little bit more towards max. Um, you know, kind of mid to max there. Um, and the biggest reason, so you, you're kind of shooting down to a lower target, so you, you typically need to do like an overplay. But I find like right around two or maybe just a, a tad under two, in most cases, on that hole for Thor's Hammers, it's going to be pretty spot on. Now I did play that like a, uh, a puck. You know, that's my original method that I used to use and have a lot of success with that I was going at that one with. Um, and as you can see, you know, I just kind of kept it short of that, uh, short of that, uh, neck there and, uh, just kind of gave it a go. And like I said, you know, it's, it's going to all be about your landing zone. Like if my ball just came in ever so slightly slower, for example, you know, landed on the fringe and then ran up, took the slope. It's all about getting the proper amount of slope. And there'll be times that, you know, you hit really great shots and then the second hop will just kind of die on you. You just kind of get a bad break. You just kind of kind of ride through the breaks. And uh, like I mentioned uh, before, uh, that two backspin method is kind of the way that I used to do it. Uh, that's the way that I originally ended up maxing. So uh, it's definitely a, uh, a method that's going to, you know, have some success for you guys. But I do highly recommend, you know, having Thor's on there. Um, just keep in mind, uh, with the way that I'm setting up with Thor's hammer, is going to be have to be very aggressive on the left, because let's say that wind was pointed the other direction, away from the hole, um, and that's one of the reasons for the having the katana is to make sure that you know you can still get enough bend, and not have to come in the way that that guy originally came in, um, because what you'll see is if you come in from the right of the hole over where that guy was where you saw his shot come in from uh, his speed and everything has to be absolutely perfect for it to come down that hill that's the the one spot you can stop it where like if you're coming in at that angle it'll it, it'll sometimes stop you know five to ten yards short or uh, vice versa if you take bring it in a little bit too hot it'll come in and race past the hole like eight six seven eight yards so uh, it is a little bit more wearisome when you have to, you know, play the right there. So I do recommend, you know, cutting a lot of that uh, slope out and just trying to play the back slope like uh, the way that you saw me do. And uh, uh, I'm going to be posting a lot more videos for you guys. So this is just kind of like an intro 
uh, for that one. And uh, keep in mind everything that I uh, gave you guys, and uh, I'll be posting more, so keep a lookout for them. Uh, good luck, guys.